And the Beatles get the game underway. So it's a small moment of ref uh, reflection there before the game started. Peter Grant wins his header. Season so far, um, and thought it would really, really miss him. But I think Brodie Patterson has slipped in beautifully. Not sure if that was a, a cross or a shot, but it's gone out of play from Luke O'Connell there. And it's a great opportunity here for your danger man, Luke O'Connell, here to deliver, Keith. Straight in the back of the net, Craig. <laughs> Straight in the back of the net. Yeah, plenty of aerial threats with uh, Kudaasa and Kildea in there. And it was coming in, and it's Kildea, I think, gets the touch, just goes wide. Claims for a corner, not given, though. The referee for this afternoon is Daniel McFarlane. As Jack Leach looks to come forward. His older brother of former Spider player Robbie Leach, who plays his football here at the Falkirk Stadium. Burn challenging with Muir. Long range for the ball. Oh, and lovely touch there by McHugh. That it's was terrific, play. wasn't it? Terrific. Michael Dow continuing his running forward from full back. Does well. well. He's caught late there on the far side and it'll be a free kick to Queen's Park. It's Connell to deliver. Called right in there and it's caught well by Cameron Binney under pressure. It's Salim Kudessa in for Luke O'Connell under pressure. No free kick on this occasion as Hamilton breaks forward. Uses Dylan Mackin. Looks to clip it forward for Scott Roberts. Roberts gets his shot away and it's deflected out and that'll be the first corner of the match for Stolen Albion that was a good loft forward from Mack in there so far no, no very little joy he's back with Doyle he's tackled there but Kilday steps in well ahead of Mack and goes on a, a run forward continues forward into the penalty area now Meggett does well just ahead of Benny heads out for a spider's corner it's Connor gone out again to take the corner kick. Long ridge alongside him. It's a short option. So got the big straight guys into up. the danger there. We flicked on and it's oh, in the back of the net. Queen's Park open the scoring. I think Kilday's running I, away I as well as McLean. We'll see that it. back again. But it's set with 1 0 to Queen's Park here at the Falkirk Stadium. You look again at the delivery. It goes curling into the right in front of the goalkeeper. I think that's a Daryl Mega own goal there. It's flicked on by McLean. Takes back for Brodie Patterson coming forward from fullback. Turns oh, his man again. Beautiful from Patterson. Great play. Can he find a delivery now? Back with Longridge. Delivers now. Headed on by McHugh. Just goes out of play. Beats Megget to the ball. McLean in firmly there and it plays for Bob McHugh. Back with Ross McLean. Drifted towards the left side now. Back from McHugh. Edge of the area to strike it. Oh. It's saved there by Cameron Binney. Good play from McLean. Off Kawida Aisa. And and that's that's the half-time half whistle here at the Falkirk Stadium and it's Queen's Park 1, Stalin Albion 0. Yeah, I certainly wouldn't feel very comfortable with a, a, a one-goal lead going into the, the closing stages. No, not at all. Looks to pick out Kudiesa here, up against Megat oh. and sells in. He found the net, oh, oh. just wide of the post. Turo, what happened there? That was just a real lapse from Mega. That looks could be Jai Ball Kato flighted into on. the area. Cleared as far as Mackin. It breaks for Magici. A good chance to deliver here. And it's a free header. Oh, and it's missed by Jack Leach. Oh, and there's, the, there's a chance there of the, the game for Leach. Tate. Patrick here, yeah. twist and turning, there's space here for Jack Leach, good chance there for the Beatles, great ball across but it's held by Willie Muir. For this set piece, oh, good. it's Connell's delivery, it's headed out there, drops for Roberts, nicely played into Kirkpatrick. 
Great run there by Jordan Kirkpatrick, and he plays it out wide here, and a great chance for Stirling Albion. Looks to cut in for the shot, blocked. Back with Curtis Roberts, looks to get his strike away again, blocked. Okay, Peter so Grant scrambles it clear. Let's Doyle the ball forward for Bainham to try and make an impression. Bainham did well there. Breaks for Longridge. Looks to take on Hamilton. Chips the ball in towards Bainham and he gets a head on it. He's pushed oh his man. No, he finds the net. Oh. But it's a free kick against the, the big Aussie. A bit of a horrendous, horrendous day for football, but uh, Moore was uh, outstanding when he came on. Yeah, a couple Absolutely. of goals from Kieran Moore and uh, Peter Grant go, and it's Katongo breaking forward now against Allen. He shrugs off him oh, and he goes down. Kick. And it's come across Davy Go. What a save by Cameron Binney. Oh, what a save from the goalkeeper. I thought that was a penalty kick. Look the referee let it go, the and you'd go there at the back of the back of the goal. He's got He's to be got scoring to score. that. You've got to score. But so he Back with Jack Leach as the, the Beano's look in search for a, a late equaliser. Plays it in towards Kirkpatrick. Doyle does well against him. Back for Andy Ryan. Looks to make space for himself. Back Kirkpatrick just guides his shot wide. Yep, back with goal. Now Connell. Looks to switch it for Katongo. This is a strength well against Allen. Not oh, makes his man any flight. Oh, that's oh. got to be a book in there. Just ah, holds down here. Katongo. That was lovely. Ah, it's fantastic. I want to see that one again. <laughs> <laughs> the dirty work. Connell looks to blast it. It's oh. deflected and held by Slight Binney. touch as well, yeah. It's Kirkpatrick yeah. that picks up the ball here. That could maybe have been a bit cleared a wee bit better. Back with Declan Byrne. Uses Curtis Roberts now. Nicely played between... Roberts and Kirkpatrick, Robert into the area. Can't oh. quite bring the ball with him, Gillespie just nips he it off just him. Just get a wee bit mixed up there, uh, Curtis Roberts, thankfully for Queen's Park. And that's a ball for Bainham to run onto. Yeah, up against Meggett. Meggett just gets a touch on it there. Nicely played out between Luca Connell and Patterson. Oh, that's a nice play. And that's oh. the full time whistle here, and it's finished. Queen's Park 1, Stull and Albion 0. So Must be delighted with the, the three points there, Keith. Absolutely delighted. Uh, Stirling, I think, are an excellent side. They really matched us all over the park. Uh, the, only, the only thing I would say is we had three or four really, really good chances that we didn't take.